Hey guys, sorry for the puppies barking in the background, but it's raining and so I can't put them outside. Really quickly, I wanna show you what can you do if one of your students can't access the Snap Edit tool. And this all starts in permissions in Yearbook Avenue. So here I'm creating a new staff member. Her name is Kristen Stimmel and her username is I love Kristen. I've put in her password, which is any word with a number in it. Um, and then I'm gonna choose her role and I'm gonna choose staff member. Now, once you've chosen staff member, you can toggle on and off any of the permissions that you would like to. And the one you want to make sure you have turned on is access to photo editing tools. If this is turned on, Kristen can now access Snap Edit. If it's turned off, it will be grayed out. She can see it, but she can't use it. All these other permissions you can read through and decide on a case-by-case -case basis if you want your students to be able to do them. Um, but the beauty of this is that every individual student has their own set of permissions. So if Kristen's a fantastic student, super trustworthy, you know that you can ask her to do anything, you might want to turn on more permissions. If Kristen's mischievous and always looking to make a joke and, and maybe can't be taken as seriously when it comes to doing yearbook stuff, maybe we turn it off for her. Um, so those are just some fun things to play with when it comes to whether or not you allow your students to um, create an index, change fonts, change colors, but this access to photo editing tools, you want to make sure that's on. And then you can hit save. Let me show you where that snap edit feature is. If I go to any page and we're going to start to have to use snap edit, you need to use an image. So you go to images and drag and drop a photo and then the snap edit feature is right here. So when you allow students to edit photos, this is what you're giving them access to. This is also where you'll find the masking tool, which allows you to cut out the background of a photo if you would like to do that. So there you go, that's how you make sure permissions are turned on so that you can allow your students to edit photos in Yearbook Avenue. Anytime you have questions, give us a shout. We're happy to let you know how these things work. Um, so take care, bye.